subscribe, ring the notification bell and leave a comment down below. I do want to pitch. Okay, yeah. cool, cool. Wanna cool. kiss it? I'm gonna like, what? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. My name is Preacher Lawson. I'm a stand up comedian from Orlando, Florida. I've been doing comedy for eight years, but it's hard to get stage time. Sometimes I do stand up at a coffee shop and there's like three people in the audience. So, yeah, I would like to be doing stand up at like Vegas in front of people. We are here. I know. From the line. I know. Now we're about to get, about to get it. on the stage. Uh, I'm so nervous right now. I'm not saying this would make all my dreams come true because money doesn't give you happiness, but, uh, Yes, it does. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> Hello. How you doing? What's your name, please? Uh, my name is Preacher Lawson. I love that. And how old are you? Uh, I'm 25. I'll turn 26 in two hours. He's young enough to be with me. Are you single, married? I have a girlfriend. You have a girlfriend? She's dope. Yeah. And what do you do for a living? I'm a stand-up comedian, which means I'm unemployed and I do stand-up on the side. All right, best of luck. All right. Uh, I got a motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle, because every time I tell someone, they always got to tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to be so negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. I walked at my apartment one time, right? I walked at my apartment, and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh, my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you stars? Are you stars? You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be alive. Blessed, right? <laughs> Yeah. She black, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone around us is like, you know, that was that is crazy that your car flip eight times. You alive? You are blessed, you know. And I'm I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted, right? Like, <laughs> who's that calm when their car's flipping in the air? Ah! One. Like, who's doing that? <laughs> My name is Preacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's it. Preacher, can I have just one more joke? <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't feel safe driving with my grandma because she's really spiritual. She loved the Lord to the point where she's not afraid of dying. So I don't like that. All right. <laughs> I don't like being in a car with someone that's not afraid of death. Okay. Like <laughs> she got that attitude. Like if I die, I'm going to heaven, so it don't matter. <laughs> I'm like, it does matter, because I'm in the car, OK? <laughs> <laughs> this is how spiritual my grandma is. If I got shot in the chest with a gun eight times, instead of her calling the ambulance, she would get on her knees praying like, please, Lord Jesus, I get these eight demons outside my grandbaby's <laughs> chest. Let the Buddhas rise up and part ways from his chest like Moses to the Red Sea. Yes, Lord. I let the blessings rain down. <laughs> yes, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Lil John 316. <laughs> 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 okay, good job. Let me go to Howie first. You knocked it out of the park. You really did. Nothing could throw a comic more than say, hey, give me one more thing. And the fact that he was just able to deliver. You are funny physically, you're funny with your voices, you got great energy. What do you mean I... he's funny physically? He has a great body. Boy. <laughs> you know what? You were just right on point from the get-go. And I love that feeling of a confident comic. You are brilliant. Thank you so much. I think that you're really funny and your timing is so good and I just want to see more. You know what I preferred actually the one you just ad-libbed was it told me more about you. I think you are unbelievably talented and I think this could be your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. I like you. Ah. Ah. We're going to vote. Can we start with Howie? Yes! Oh man, thank you so much. Yes from me! Yeah. I love you. I'm going to give you a yes. Yeah! Yes! Uh, Preacher, is your grandmother still around? It's her birthday today. And what's her name? 
Her name is Virginia Phillips. Well, look, give her my love because you've got four yeses. Congratulations. Lawson. What's up, girl? Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, who have you brought with you today? Oh, my mom came from China. What's up? There you go. Woo! There you go, mom. I haven't seen my mom in years. So let me get this correct. Yeah. So you haven't seen your mom in a few years, and I she's haven't. flown all the way from China to see you today. Yeah, she flew from yeah from, from China. Wow. It's been years. So yeah, I'm just I love you, mom. Love you I too. love you, mom. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> Before you get you get into your ad, just tell us a little bit about what today means to you. Man, I've, I've been doing stand-up for eight years, going in bars, uh, laundromats, so that's why being here means so much to me. Well, the stage is all yours. All right, cool. So cool, about a year ago, uh, I went on a date and I got catfish. And uh, it's when you meet someone online, then you meet them in person for real, and you're like, hey, that don't match. <laughs> <laughs> you never mustache online, ma'am, right? <laughs> and so <laughs> I met this girl online. She was very pretty. She was super pretty. And I met her in person. She was just as pretty. That's not how she got me, all right? Uh, the way she got me is when she walks, kind of has a limp, which is cool. Like, I don't care <laughs> if you got a limp when you walk. But, like, put it in your profile somewhere. Like, ooh, I love long walks on the beach, but it's hard for me because my leg's jacked up. You know, let me know. <laughs> I met her at this bar downtown, right? And she was really pretty. She was pretty. I went over and I bought her a drink. That's how fine she is, y'all. I normally don't buy women drinks because I don't drink. You know, it's weird for me to get a water, get a girl an alcohol beverage, like, yeah, how you like it? You know, it's just creepy, you know? I'm a comedian. Bill Cosby's a comedian. Anyway, so, <laughs> I, uh, what, what? And so, uh, <laughs> I bought her this drink, right? And the bar we're at starts playing music. So I can't hear what she's saying, right? So I'm like, yo, it's getting loud in here. Let's go take a walk around the park, right? And she's like, all right, let's do it, right? And she hopped out the chair, started walking out. Right? <laughs> I, I didn't know she was limping at first because music was playing, right? Like, you know, <laughs> you know, you know, you like to dance on your way out the club, like, ah. <laughs> I'm like, get a girl, do the stanky leg, right? <laughs> Cause she was walking like she seen ten dollars on the ground, but she didn't want anyone to know. And she's like, "Is that ten dollars? Cause it's mine now." <laughs> yeah, about to get. <laughs> then she became my girlfriend, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. My name is Bridget Lawler. I appreciate. It. Thank you so much. Oh man. that to stop. I, why did it stop? I wanted you to carry on and on and on. My jaw is actually aching because I was laughing so hard and so loud. Thank oh, you. Howie, what did you you're think? You're funny verbally. You're funny oh physically. God. You're funny visually. And I just seeing your mom. Your mom says, you killed it. <laughs> you should be so proud because this kid is a star. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes, I agree. Oh. Simon, what did you think? You have star quality. And, and that is something you can't fake. And this is what I've always prayed for on this show, is to find someone like you. So in five or 10 years time, people can say, yeah, I remember the first time I saw Preacher Lawson and it was on America's Got Talent. I've just hey, got this great feeling. Thank you so much. That means so much to me. And you have to be in the six that goes through. Wow. You have to be. I want to make sure. Vern, do you think you got six, or do you think you have more than six? There might be more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, I was watching Oprah a few years ago because I'm a gangster. <laughs> I just, I just playing. I can't be a gangster because I'm ticklish. Nah, no, you can't be do that. And. Uh, Gangsters go to jail, I can't go to jail. I smile too much, I got a big booty. It's just a bad combination, you know? Know you're looking. All right, uh, I, I was watching Oprah, and I seen this guy in Oprah. He has a Guinness World Record for the fastest claps per second, which is pretty stupid. Um, he does 
14 claps per second. One 1,000, that's 14 claps, y'all. I got a question. How do you find out that you are the fastest clapper in the world, huh? How do you figure that out? You just had to track me, you just cheering on your knees. Run, Katha! Come on, Katha, run! Come on, Katha! Linda! Get the camera, Linda! Get the camera! Man, listen. <laughs> listen. Hey, hold on. I bet you, I bet you they love me at campfires. Like, ooh, I can't start a fire. Don't even worry about it, Katha! Get the sticks, Linda! <laughs> Lost like 80 brain cells. Yeah. I, uh, you know what else is stupid? Cell phones. They're getting too big. It's annoying. Like, every time I swipe down my screen, I feel like I'm playing The Price is Right. Like, that's how I did. I'm like, let's see that on my Facebook feed. Let's see what's up. Look at this picture. It's annoying. I got to hopscotch the text people. I'm going to call you back later. It's annoying. You know how exhausting it is to save a number? <laughs> what's your number? 407. <laughs> have an asthma attack. <laughs> Side note, ladies, you ever notice every time a black or a Spanish dude spit game to you, it look like we're using hand sanitizer? You ever notice that? Yo, let me holler at you for a second, little mama. What's your name? I'm just saying, you look flat. That's all. <laughs> I got me as my screensaver on my phone, because I like me. And <laughs> this girl seen it call me conceited. She's like, you got to use your screensaver on your phone? Are you serious? Not so conceited. She white, by the way. And I was like... <laughs> How am I conceited? Because I got a picture of me on my phone. It's my phone, you know what I'm saying? I would, that's like walking in someone's house. I'm like, man, you got a picture of you and your family everywhere. It's my house, okay? <laughs> I do what I want. I don't got any kids, yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's like I don't got any kids, I don't got any pets. What else is gonna be my screensaver? Some random picture of a lake? I can't swim, okay? <laughs> So I got me, I got an iPhone 6S Plus, 128 gig, that's a $940 phone, all right? I paid, my mom paid $940. My name is Preacher Lawson. Happy birthday, Janine, I love you. Preacher, Preacher! They're standing up, Preacher! They're on their feet! They are on their feet! On their feet! Howie! Fellow Pre comedian here. Preacher, you are great. I need to see you go all the way to the finals. You are funny and electric and a star before you even open your mouth. When you walk out here, we love you. There's electricity. You are a star, buddy. And your life, and I know this, I've talked to you backstage, your life isn't what it was. And this show, I'm so happy to be a witness to what's happening with you. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mel B, what do you think about Preacher? Oh, I just adore you. I really do. You come out on stage and you've got so much energy and you are so funny. My gosh. And I she's single. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm not. But hey, I love that Mystique outfit. I see you, though. I see you right there. <laughs> Looking like an X-Man. That's great. <laughs> I, I, I want to yeah. make sure that people vote for you because you are just on the money. You're fantastic. Yes, yes Heidi. Heidi. What do you oh, think, of Heidi? <laughs> well, I think that there's something really, really funny about you. You know, for me today, it wasn't necessarily the <laughs> jokes. I have to say, he keeps asking me, "What did you just say? What did you just say?" But he talks fast. No, and no, I know. To keep up, I have Simon. Translated to Simon in between. No, but I love your, I love your face. You have so much light about you. I love Ooh. your voice, and I do also believe that you have star quality. I didn't love the joke so much, but I do love you, and You're I do great. think You're that right. you are yeah, a star. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, do. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, yeah. Look, Preacher, uh, look, I can understand you. You just talk very, very quickly. Yeah. Uh, look, let me tell you what I think. Uh, this is an opportunity for you, particularly after hearing your story, to showcase you, your personality, and your talent, not just in front of the millions of Americans, but to people who work in this business who should be looking for someone like you to create a series or a show yes. around you, because Would I think you you're that good. Yes. I really do think you're that amazing. good. Oh. 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 yeah. Yeah. All right. I don't know who designed that, but I like them. All right, this is cool. All right, so uh, I don't know why people brag about being single. Like, it's not fun being lonely. I don't like that at all. I don't know. I, don't, I was single for three years. You know what I noticed after being single for three years? I noticed the longer I'm single, the lower my standards get, all right? For real. 
I was really picky in the beginning. I'm like, she got to look like this, she got to have this. Now I'm like, who needs teeth? You know, like you, <laughs> you smile with your heart and that's all that matters. You know what I'm saying? Because I was an ugly kid growing up. Like, I feel all right now, but when I was a kid, I was, like, surprisingly ugly. Like, if you looked at me too fast, I'd mess you up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> From age 7 to 14, my nickname was, ah! That's my name. I didn't even tell people they just knew it sometimes. <laughs> That's why me and my ex broke up, because we, we wanted kids, but we couldn't have any kids. kind of sad. Uh, unless we adopted. That's the only way we can have children, which I do plan on adopting at least one child. I feel like everyone should adopt. If everyone adopted, there'll be no need for foster care, right? So I do, yeah. So I do plan on adopting, uh, but I do want two biological children of my own. Uh, me and my ex couldn't have any. It's kind of sad, because my ex, she has, a, she has a huge forehead. And I don't want to pass those genes down to my children, okay? Yeah, you're not gonna have my kid looking like Jimmy Neutron. So I was like, we, I mean, don't get me wrong, I still love Tyra. It's just, you know, I, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, it's cool. Like when I see I wave, she waves back, hi, hi, it's Ty Ty, you know, it's good. You know, it's all good. Just saying that, you know, she got a big forehead, I got some big old lips. If we had a son, his face would be in 4D, is what I'm saying, right? And he was getting fights all the time, kids are yelling at him, get out of my face! You know, he, he'd be like, I'm across the street, man. <laughs> my daddy got big lips. <laughs> it's so funny, people used to make fun of my lips as a kid all the time. You got some big lips, you got some soup coolers. You got this and that, like, shut up, okay? I bet I never drown, I bet that, all right? <laughs> I like my lips, women like big lips. Fellas, if you making out with your girl and she can breathe, she ain't happy, okay? She not. <laughs> She don't like that. Women love big lips. You ever see a girl do a selfie? They always do like, they always do a duck face. Do duck, yeah. I don't know how women duck faces. I've never seen a duck and thought that's a sexy looking duck. Like stop. No one's driving past Paul's like, yeah, that's it. Like no one's doing that. I think kids are cool, though. I think kids are really cool. Uh, they, they can be annoying sometimes because they're really cute. You know, I got a four-year-old cousin. Her name is Peyton, right? She looks at me in front of a whole bunch of friends and family. She says, hey, preacher. Why are you so ugly? And then she did the robot, right? <laughs> so everybody was dying. It's so funny when a four-year-old calls me ugly and does a robot. It's hilarious until I say something back to her, like, that's why your mama don't know who your daddy is. <laughs> and <laughs> then she want to cry, you know? Like, she crying. She started yelling at me, crying, yeah, your mama don't know who your daddy is either. Like, psych, my mom do know who my daddy is, you know? She just don't know where he's at, you know? Like, she know him. My name is Preacher Lawson. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. You, you need more tape than that? <laughs> I have something to say, but first I'm going to go to Simon. Awkward, <laughs> very awkward. Mm -hmm. Preacher, I don't know what's happened in your life, why you haven't had the big break yet, because like I said last time on the show, why have you not got your own sitcom? Why aren't you doing major, major gigs? Because to me, I'm not an expert on this, but... If you can come on stage and make the whole place laugh and feel comfortable and like you and get to know you and you're original, that means you've got it, and you've got it. Thanks so much. Holly? You know, Simon's saying, why don't you have it? You are about to get it. You were going to get everything you ever dreamed of. I'm telling you, Tyra introduced you and said you only show up with a mic and all these other people have all these different things. You show up with a mic, you show up with personality, you show up with a ton of talent, you show up with your own material. You have almost more than anybody else on the stage. America has to recognize that, they gotta vote, and I gotta see you in the final. Yeah, yeah, all right. So uh, I was walking home the other day and I seen this naked dude dancing on a trash can and <laughs> he wasn't fully naked, he had socks on, but it was, it's really weird, you know what I mean? I didn't want to look at him, but I could not look, you know? And then, then he caught me looking at him. And you know how, like, you staring at somebody and you try to play it off like you're not looking at him? You're like, ah, oh, floor, ceiling over here. <laughs> Georgia, Georgia. Like, you just try to play it off like you wouldn't look at him. And he caught me. He was like, hey! And I was like, ah, oh, snap. And he ran from one side of the street to the other. He didn't care about his life at all. He was like, hey! Hey! He stopped right in front of me. He's like, hey, stop! Hammer time! <laughs> 
<laughs> listen up, brother. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, brother. Listen up. All right, listen up, brother. Let me tell you something. All right, listen. I'm going to tell you a secret. You ready for this secret? I'm going to tell you. Listen up. Come close. Come close, brother. Come on. Come close. All right, listen up, brother. All right, you listening? You listening? All right, all right. Listen up, brother. Black power. You know what I'm saying, brother? Yeah. Black power. Do you hear me? I was like, I hear what you're saying, but you're white, so I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of weird, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was like, what do you want, man? He's like, let me tell you what I want, player, all right? Let a brother like me borrow. Let me borrow, because I'm going to give it back. Let me borrow $75. I was like, excuse me, sir, but you just skipped a lot of levels, okay? <laughs> $75 for what? He's like, I'm trying to get a soda. I was like, from where? Whole Foods? Like, why do you need, <laughs> why do you need that much money? That's so I true. told him, I was like, listen, man, I'm not giving you $75. I'm not, because I only got $10. And I'm not giving you $10, because I'm not stupid. Any amount of money I give you, you're going to probably take it and spend it on drugs. I can tell. You're naked, okay? <laughs> and he said, he, this is what he said back. He was like, what? What? Let me tell you something, player, all right? First off, I ain't naked. I got socks on. <laughs> Second off, me? Ain't never, okay? I ain't never in my life, player. Listen up, brother. I ain't never. I, 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 do drugs. Ever. <laughs> and then he just, uh, he flew away. So that was that. <laughs> I like doing this joke. There's always few people in the crowd like dying laughing. They're right next to him. It's, How long he gonna do this for? I'm still going. My name is Preacher Lawson. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you. Oh. Everybody give it up for Preacher. Preacher, you started a new dance. That was a, you started a new dance. Oh, look at everybody over there, your family over there. They got a team. Howie. You know, you are absolutely everything that inspires me about comedy. You are Richard Pryor speaking your truth. People I believe that you bumped into on the, on the street with. You are Charlie Chaplin with the physicality. You have the charisma of Eddie Murphy. You are everything that makes all those comedians great. Oh, Thank you. Everybody. And you are a superstar. And if I was home, I would love to see a comedian win AGT this year. If there's one person to vote for, I know what it takes to come up with what you came up with. I love you, and I think America should love you, and I think you should win this. Man. Preacher, you know what? I have a feeling that tonight is going to change your life. You've lit it up big time tonight, Preacher. And I really do believe, and I hope, and I pray, and I'm not normally wrong. If you're not signed up for some show or movie in the next eight weeks, I will literally eat my hand. Eight oh, weeks. Man. Eight weeks starting today. Did y'all get that on video? Because, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Preacher Lawson, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So what's been going on with you since we last saw you? Uh, lots of stuff. I've been touring and stuff, you know, because of y'all. You know, people know me now. That's pretty cool. Good. Yeah. Yeah. And how's your family life? How's all that working out oh, for you? Oh, they love my money, so it's all good, <laughs> man. <laughs> no, it's, it's great. I mean, I remember when I, <laughs> before the show, I crashed my mom's car, and she was like, pay me back when you start making some money, and I got to pay her back, so that's pretty cool. Very excited. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. And if my memory is um, good today, you have a son, that's correct, I have, right? a, I have a son? No. You have a, no. You have a son. No, I don't have any kids at all. <laughs> No, Where did you even get that from? Wait, no, no, no. Let me get this Do you this want correct. me to have a son? Is that what you're trying to do? <laughs> that we... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you my number after the show. <laughs> oh, 
This dude is hilarious. Go for it, preacher. I don't want to ask you any more questions because I'm getting it all wrong, but I'm so glad that you're here and I can't wait to have a good belly laugh. Yeah. Go on. Uh, a little about myself, I'm a vegan. Yes, I'm a vegan, which means I don't... Yeah, all right, thank you, three vegans. All right, I appreciate it. So, a vegan, we don't eat animals, we don't eat meat or whatever, and the reason I decided to be a vegan is because I had a dog and I fell in love with my dog, and I was like, I can't eat my dog, you know? I can't, can't do it. And I know most of us don't eat our dogs, you know? But we eat pigs, and guess what? Pigs are smarter than dogs. Pigs are smarter than chimpanzees. They're just ugly. And you can't eat something just because it's ugly, because if that's the case, some of y'all looking tasty tonight, all right? That's, <laughs> I'm being real, all right? And I know what some of y'all are thinking. A black vegan, he must be married to a white girl. Psych, we broke up. So uh, that's not true <laughs> at all. Nice try. Yes. My ex is white, all right? I did a one white girl, which is annoying because I went black, black, blackity black, Puerto Rican black, white, and everyone was like, I knew it! Like I came out of the closet or something. <laughs> they was like, I knew you like avocado, quinoa, and salt and vinegar chips. I don't even know what that means, okay? <laughs> I have no idea what that is. White women are my type. I just happen to live next to Trader Joe's. Like it's not something I'm searching for, you know? Different dating a white girl, especially as a black man, super different dating. It's different kissing a white girl. Because white women, have white makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if y'all noticed, but I got a black face, okay? So, kind of like making out with a powdered donut, you know? Like it just gets all over your face. When I looked in the mirror, I thought I was turning white. I was like, she got it on me! Some black people look at me, they get mad. Like, you had a white girlfriend? You can't get a black queen? You don't like being black? Are you kidding me? I love being black so much that I got a white girlfriend so I can make her baby black. I was trying to take over. Huh? Yeah. I was doing it for us. Wakanda forever. That's my plan. My name is Preacher Lawson. Thank you so much. I love y'all. Thank you. Look at that. Incredible. They love him. Thank you. Preacher Lawson, no word of a lie. If I would have kept all of that golden buzzer, it would have been yours, brother, right Ooh, now. Thank I you. swear to God. Thank you. My cheeks are hurting. Everything, everything. Okay, I'm going to stop now. Oh, God, Heidi. I think you were on fire today. And yes. I do remember you from the past, but I think today you really, really brought everything. Thank you. You really were fantastic. And are those jeggings, by the way? Are these jeggings? Uh, no, they're not. I mean, they're tight. I know they're tight, but <laughs> no. I just want to say. It's just for my booty to pop. No, I Bam! You see that? Yes. Yes. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Man is a natural. <laughs> Howie. There aren't even words to describe how good I believe you are. I think you're a superstar. I think every dream you have should come true. This is a champion right here. Thank you. Right on. Simon. Preacher, I tell you what this reminded me of. I run a record label, and sometimes you put a single out, and it's a hit. And then the next year, you put a second single out, and it becomes a bigger hit. This is how I feel about you just now, is that you were great before. Tonight, you were fantastic. Congratulations. Are you serious? Darcy Lynn was added as a wild card. Why? Thank you so much. And I did that sober. That's crazy. Nah. <laughs> yes, I'm excited, man. I don't, uh, I do most things so. I don't really drink. I don't like the way alcohol tastes. <laughs> Everybody know alcohol nasty. I know this because I've never seen anybody take a shot and not slap a table. That's how I know. <laughs> you ever see someone's face when they take a shot? They just, yeah! Why are you doing that? It just makes you dizzy. Like, if you can't afford alcohol, just start spinning in circles. That's all you need to do. <laughs> what you doing, girl? You know I don't get paid till Friday. I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to keep up with y'all. <laughs> 
Stand-up comedy is pretty cool. It's the, one of the only jobs you can drink and, uh, and work. My last job, I could do that as well. My last job was great. I made a lot of money. I got to choose my hours. It was a great job. It's pros and cons of drug dealing, but for the most part, like, I, I did so well, you know? I just did great. The job before that, I used to work at a gym, you know? It's funny, when you work at a gym, you notice things, right? Like, you notice that men that go to the gym, men only work out their upper body, right? Because they're dumb. They're like, <laughs> they're like oh, I want to get buff. I'm like, that's cool, bro. But leg day, all right? Got all these men walking around, body shaped like the letter T. Like, you look dumb. You belong on Sesame Street. That's where you belong. That's... <laughs> Today's word is testosterone. Who are go? That's where you belong. Women do the exact opposite, because women want a big booty, but they don't want to get buff, right? So you got all these women walking around, body shaped like a T-Rex, thinking they fine, like, hi. No. Look like a really attractive ostrich right now. That's what you look like. <laughs> women are so afraid of getting buff. They are so afraid, you know? You got men in the gym trying so hard to get buff, and they can't, they can't get bigger. Women think they just gonna pick up one dumbbell. <laughs> just one, like, hey. <laughs> what does dumbbell do, hmm? I just want to pick it up and see what it does, okay? I just, just want to pick it up and see what it does. That's all I want to do, okay? I just want to see what it does! <laughs> Katrina, man! Right, y'all better laugh at that joke. It cost me six ninety-five. Man, <laughs> my name is Preacher Lawson. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, Preacher Lawson. I thought you was gonna put me your shirt up. <laughs> Why are you coming to me first? <laughs> um, you know that I'm a fan of yours. You are just funny. Just no, no matter what you say, how you say, you could be saying anything, and I'd be laughing and screaming with happiness and joy and awe. Go to the next person. <laughs> I'm going to the next you person. You keep talking, I don't mind. Simon, I don't mind. Simon, what do you think? I felt tonight I wasn't looking at... A competition, I felt genuinely I was just watching a star. Yeah. It's as simple as that. No, really, I really mean that, Preacher. Everything about you has got better. Um, and that's. And his what... body got better. And you. What are you talking about? Hey, look at these muscles. Thank you. And you are brilliant. Thank you. Howie. You give us everything. You know, there are funny physical comedians, there are funny verbal comedians, there's great storytellers. You are all those in one. And that's why we love you. And I think the people that represent each of the 50 states are talking about you right now. And I'm so proud that a comedian has made it this far. Yes. I love you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Preacher. Now, was it worth ripping off your clothes? Oh, it was worth, yes! Oh, yes! yes. The blood, the blood. Even if they didn't laugh, I wanted to rip off my clothes, all right? I just, I just wanted to show I did my homework. That's all I did. Yeah, I, I, I know the feeling. I you. know the I feeling. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck tonight, Preacher. Please Thank you so make much. some noise for shirtless Preacher Lawson! Y'all give me a lot of energy, a lot of love. I love women that make me laugh. Man, if a girl make me laugh, I fall in love fast. I do. I be like, ha, girl, you so crazy. Listen, we've been knowing each other for two minutes, but I already know. I love funny women. You just can't be funnier than me, and we're good, you know what I mean? Like, because you know I'm a comedian, no? 
Like my ex was hilarious. You know what else she is? My ex. Don't disrespect me, okay? <laughs> you can be funny a little bit, man. That's disrespectful. You'll see LeBron James wife going around dunking on him. You'll see that, all right? <laughs> I don't care if you're taller than me. Some dude's like, I can't date a girl that's taller than me. I, I do not. Girl, get this loving. It don't matter to me. <laughs> can I reach your lips? You just can't be, I don't care if you're bigger than me, you can't just be like, like bigger than me, you know? Like, I want to get in an argument with my lady and think, oh, snap, she mad, you know, like, not all oh, snap, she mad, you know, like, not that. <laughs> I love her. I date every race. It's different dating outside your race. First date I ever went on with a white girl, I was driving in Death Valley, Nevada. I don't know if anyone's ever been there, but it's beautiful when you're safe inside your car. And I was driving with her, and I was looking around, I was like, these mountains are so beautiful. Aren't they, white girlfriend? And then she was like, just call me Janine. And I was like, that makes sense. I didn't think about that, but yeah. But anyway, aren't these mountains beautiful? And then her response was, oh my gosh, these mountains are so beautiful. Let's go climb them. And I was like, calm down, Cinderella. You know, like, let's not go die. That sounds like a better idea. And I'm not saying there's some white people still climbing mountains. All I'm saying is anybody black I know wouldn't have suggested that. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> climbing mountains in Death Valley. I was like, it's in the name. They gave us clues right there, right? <laughs> and then she was like, that couple looks like they're walking around the bottom of the mountain. It was another mixed couple, right? And so we actually parked. We actually ran into the couple. And I was like, hey, mixed couple part two. Did y'all end up, did y'all end up walking up the mountain? They was like, no, that's a stupid idea. I was like, that's what I was saying. <laughs> But we ended up walking up the mountain, and it was a lot of fun, to the point where I felt like I had to admit that I was wrong, and I was like, because it was beautiful, and I was looking around, and I was like, man, you know what, white girl from Janine, I'm so glad you suggested this, because I'm having a great time. She's like, I told you it's going to be a lot of fun, and I was like, yeah, it was great, until I seen some fresh doo-doo on the ground. And I was like, that's so weird, because I didn't do that, you know? So how did that get there? I was like, did you do that? That was fast, girl. And she's like, it wasn't me, silly. It was probably just a mountain lion. What? How? <laughs> How do you just say that and be calm? What do you mean it's probably just a mountain lion? She says, don't worry about it, silly. Mountain lions are way more afraid of us than we are of them. We just got to stand up to them. I said, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> You trying to tell me if I see a mountain lion live, I'm supposed to be like, hold up, mountain lion. You better stop it, because I Googled you. And the mountain lion just walks off like, hey, hey, my bad, man, my bad. I didn't know you had Wi-Fi. Let me get out of here. I was, was going to murder you, but you Googled me. I got to leave now. I said, listen, ma'am, I don't know what nursery rhyme you heard growing up, but it wasn't Black and Jill went up the hill to get eaten by some mountain lions. We have to leave for your safety, okay? Because I'm so much faster than you. Like, it's not even close, all right? And you said asthma. <laughs> she was like, I want to stay up here longer. I was gone. Anyway, so I got to the bottom. I look across the street. I see that couple looking at me weird. I'm like, why are they looking at me weird? Then I realized I just walked up the mountain with a white girl and ran down by myself. <laughs> I was like, I can see how that looks right there. Like, she's alive. I don't know if she's alive. I know I'm single now. My name is Preacher Lawson. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Thank you, yeah, yeah, good to see you. All right, man, let's get this out the way. Obviously, I'm from Brixton. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm from America, y'all, what's up? <laughs> yeah, apparently, Englanders think we're dumb. <laughs> and you right, we're dumb, but uh, we got dentists, okay? You can't have everything, all right? <laughs> I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good from uh, <laughs> this jet lag. I drank some coffee. I normally don't drink coffee. 
So when I did, I was surprised. And I felt so energetic. I was like, man, I feel so energetic. I feel so energized and alert. Why don't I drink more coffee? And then my booty was like, this is why! It snuck up on me. I was not ready. You ever accidentally start the salsa to the bathroom? You're like, where did I learn this? It was bad. <laughs> You ever go to the bathroom thinking you only got to pee, and then when you get there, your body's like, nah, son, we got work to do. <laughs> I destroyed that bathroom. I couldn't breathe for 11 seconds. <laughs> I lost brain cells. I was like, why is my arm in the toilet? It was so big, but I'm going to do it. Some of y'all had that experience, all right. <laughs> So, um, yeah, man, I was on a show called America's Got Talent. That's why I know you, Simon. Yeah, I was on America's Got Talent. And uh, who's seen that? Who's seen America's Got Talent? Who's seen me on America's Got You seen me? Oh, you seen me? Okay. Who voted for me, though? Who vo uh, of course you did in London. I lost to a 12-year-old ventriloquist. She didn't open her mouth the whole time. You never know what it feels like losing a million dollars to somebody that still has chores. You'll never know. People ask me all the time, they're like, you still talk to Darcy? I'm like, she's 14, bruh. No, I'm a grown man. What am I gonna do? Hey, Darcy, how was school? Like, no, man. <laughs> Plus, she beat me, so I hate her. Why would I talk to someone I hate? <laughs> Don't hate Darcy, she's an angel. So is the devil, okay? Now, I'm not, <laughs> she's not the devil. I love her and her family, the greats. I don't feel like I lost on this show for a couple of reasons. First reason I don't feel like I lost on the show is because I was homeless three and a half years ago. I'm far from that now, all right? I'll never be homeless again in my life. Thank you. That's right. That's right. I got money now. I got way more friends and family members than I remember um, <laughs> on the show. I don't know if y'all know who Tyra Banks is, but she's pretty much, yeah, y'all know who Tyra Banks is. If you don't know, welcome to Earth. And uh, she's pretty much the, 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 the American version of Ant and Deck. You know, they're both like hosts on major shows and they're both supermodels. So they're the same people. <laughs> and on the show, she licked my face, okay? I could die tonight. You don't understand. She licked my face, y'all. <laughs> I licked her hand first, though. I licked her hand first, all right? What happened was she was interviewing me, and I was like, I can't believe I'm talking to you, Tyra Banks. And she was like, yeah, it's me. And she put her hand out. And she was like, you can pinch my hand and see if I'm real. Matter of fact, you can kiss it. And I was like, kiss it? Because <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to get this opportunity again. <laughs> so I licked her. She started laughing. I was like, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to jail. <laughs> I went on stage, right? She was, uh, she was interviewing me, right? She was like, you ready to do this? I was like, I'm ready. She was like, go get him, tiger. I laughed. I was like, funny you call me a tiger because I'm feeling great, like the cereal in America. Don't worry about it. Anyway, so I went on stage. And you know how the judges on these shows, they always ask you all these random questions, like, hey, preacher, what's your favorite color? You got a favorite color, huh? You got a girlfriend? What's your girlfriend? <laughs> And at the time, I had a girlfriend. So I was like, yeah, I got a girl. She dope. I do my performance. I get off stage. Tyra Banks is waiting for me. Everybody happy but Tyra, all right? I walk off, and she's mad. She was like, why would you let me lick your face on national television, preacher? You got a girlfriend. And I replied, I'll let you lick my face, Tyra, because you're Tyra Banks, OK? Why would I not let Tyra Banks lick my face? If my girl had a chance for Aunt and Death to lick her face, and she turned it down, I'm dumping her, because I don't want to date anybody that stupid. Are you serious? <laughs> if I had a chance for Aunt and Death to lick my face, I am dressing up like an ice cream cone. You don't understand. They about to get all this. My name is Preacher Lawson. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I love you. Thank you. Let's get this out the All way. Right. Come here. Come oh, okay. here. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Here we go. 
Thank you so much for watching. We hope you loved our compilation and let us know who some of your favorites are that we should feature in a compilation next. We'd love your feedback. While you're on YouTube, you should hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. This way you know each time we post a new video. Also, follow Talent Recap on all social medias. I'm talking Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It's a good time. Plus, head over to talentrecap.com because we have all the scoop on talent shows that you won't want to miss. Hey y'all, if you're still here, either you're a hardcore fan or you have nothing else to do. Either ways, stick around. Now let me tell you a secret. You already know about, about our YouTube channel, because duh, you're right here. But we also have a website with millions of visitors. It's the only website exclusively dedicated to reality TV competition shows called talentrecap.com. My name is Murganka and I'm the managing editor of talentrecap.com. My job is to work with other writers to make sure that we get you all exclusive content related to talent shows. Also, inside scoop on the judges, exclusive interviews, polls, newsletters, and fun quizzes. Now, if that sounds like your kind of thing, come visit us at talentrecap.com. Hi, I'm Samantha, and while you're still here, let me quickly tell you about our weekly talent recap show that I am one of the hosts of. Each week, two hosts sit down and discuss our favorite moments from reality talent competition shows. Think of it as a sports after show for talent competitions. We discuss the eliminations, talk about predictions for the next week, and we also talk about some of our favorite acts. It's a fun and exciting way to vent our frustrations, but also talk about some of the most epic moments on these shows. But the best part is talking to the fans. We love reading your comments and interacting with you guys and sharing some of the same emotions towards some of the acts. It's a perfect way for a fan like me to interact with a fan like you. This video's over and I didn't expect you to still be here, but since you are, let's talk more about Talent Recap and what I do here. My name is Summer Monet and I am a host for Talent Recap What's Hot. This segment is designed to take a deeper look at our favorite contestants, favorite moments, and our favorite celebrity judges. If there's any drama or controversy, you bet that we will give you the full scoop. Let me tell you some examples. All the winners of America's Got Talent, where are they now? How much money do these judges make? All the women Simon Cowell dated. And trust me, there's a lot of them and so on. I love talking to you guys, reading your feedback and your comments, so please keep them coming. I am Summer Monet, and now you know what's hot. Oh, what are you still doing here? But wait, since you've stuck around this long, hi, I'm Kayla, and I'm the Director of Video Content here at Talent Recap. I work behind the scenes, managing our YouTube channel and editing all of our videos. At Talent Recap, we create fun and engaging videos on all of our favorite talent shows, including America's Got Talent, American Idol, The Voice, The Masked Singer, and so much more by the fans, for the fans. I personally am a huge fan of these shows, but I want to know, what are some of your favorite shows? We love to get feedback from our fans, and we love talking to you guys. Now you may have seen our talent recap show, or perhaps it was Cody Lee's unforgettable audition that caught your eye. But we've got other segments that you've got to check out, like What's Hot, Talent Reactions, Top Acts, and Red Carpet Interviews. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the notification bell so that you will be notified every time we upload a video. I'm Samantha. I'm Summer Monet. I'm Kayla. And that's, and that's, and that's, our talent recap. Hey you, stop swiping on dating apps and start swiping through Talent Recap's playlists. We've got compilations, we've got red carpet interviews, what's hot videos, and recap shows. And I think it's time we take our relationship to the next level. I'm talking hit that subscribe button right now. No, I'm totally kidding. Well, I'm not kidding. You should still subscribe so you're up to date on all of our latest content. And thanks for watching.